Hi, everyone. Well, here we are again. And I'm so sorry. We have to change our Hello everyone, welcome back again to another entertainment news. If today is the first time of coming across our page, please kindly like, follow, press the bell for more notifications, and also follow us on our Instagram at Isyama Usazi and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Matilda Film TV channel. Guys, in today's video, we want to talk about a great woman of inspiration. Beautiful, talented, amazing, influential woman. When this woman sings, people marvel at her voice. She is so talented, as in, when she sings, the whole world will start shaking. <laughs> this woman is called Selene Odion, and she's a Canadian woman. Let's meet her. We want to talk about her experience with Selene Dion. Uh, what she is going through because recently we had uh, she falls sick, so she has to reschedule a show for another date due to her illness. We pray she gets strong and back to her feet again. Guys, please don't go away because in today's video is going to be very very interesting. Sally Ojo is an award-winning musician. Who has entertained people all over the world for decades. Ojo has experienced numerous career success as well as tragedy. She lost her husband a few years ago and Ojo is now revealing whether she will date again. Ojo's husband was talent manager, Rene Angeli, that is her uh, husband's name. The couple first became acquitted when Angeli was managing Ojo's career. They began dating in 1988 and got married in 1994. Ojo and Angela also have three kids together. Rainier, Charles, and twins Eddie with Nancy. That's the name of their kids. Angeli, which is the husband, was diagnosed with throat cancer in 1999. Though he made a full recovery at the time. Daughter found a loop in his neck in 2013. Angeli underwent treatment again and he died in 2016, just two days before his 74 birthday. He was buried in his hometown in Montreal, Canada. We know that uh, Selidion is a Canadian woman and she also met someone from there. And we heard it that during her time, she was very young when she met this man. Some said 15, some said 20. She was really, really young. I don't know what you guys think about this. I think they said at the age of 15 years, she got married to her husband. And the man was uh, uh, 60 years. So what do you guys think? Anyway, uh, love does not count. It doesn't mean the age gap. It, you can go for what you want. Yeah. It's only people that think that, ah, the age is, uh, the age gap is too much. But if you're in love with that person, you can go for that person. It doesn't mean, mm -hmm. because she was trying to explain some certain things here. According to her, she said, right this second, love is so big right now in my life with my kids, with life itself. I am not thinking about a relationship or falling in love again. I don't. She's so confused at the moment. Do I have to say that? It will never happen anymore. This woman is really in love. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. This happened during an interview. She had previously told the Today Show, because she went for a show, that although she wasn't, uh, she was not forcing on finding love, there was still something she missed about having a partner. Odon said, I am very lucky. And happy to have so many people in my surrounding to make me. They make me laugh that I miss to be touched. I miss to be huge. I miss to be heard. I miss to be told. You are beautiful. I miss what a boyfriend. And I miss what a husband would do. <laughs> this is from Celidion. Now she's explaining her feelings, what she had really missed. You know, there is something like when you have a husband... And 
that husband leaves you. <laughs> Do you know what it means, guys? <laughs> so she has really missed him, even though he is no more. Yeah, he still talk about a uh, late husband. Okay, let's ride on to what she's passing now. So Sally or John, she talked about her health issue and uh, also said how sorry she was because she had really missed a lot and she has failed on our show. According to what she said, I am so sorry we have to change our toy plans for Europe one more time. First, we had to move the shows because of the pandemic. Now, it's my health issue causing us to postpone the shows. I am doing a lot bit better, but I am still experiencing some sperm. I need to be on top shape when I am on stage. I honestly can't wait, but I am just not there yet. I am doing my very best to get back to the level that I need to be so that I can give 100% at my show because that's what you deserve. That is what uh, Selin said. I think she has been battling through her health uh, situation and uh, we hope everything gets better. Yes, guys. And um, she is a, a, a woman of inspiration. She has this uh, great voice. Yeah. When she sings people mellow. I must tell you guys. And there's a particular song I love so much that this woman sang. I think it's actually her first song. A new day has come. Let me remind you guys about this song I'm talking about. I know you will love it. <laughs> Let the rain come down and wash away my tears. Let it fill my soul and drop my feet. Let it shine the world for you to send you day. Let it rain come down and wash away my tears. Let it fill my soul and drop my feet. Let it shine the world on you, sun, you, hey! Guys, let's talk about how Sally Ondion met her husband. Uh, it was said that the man really supported her, her career. He was there by her. How did she meet this man, this God saint? Sally Ojong was 12 years old when she was discovered by a manager who happened to be Rene Angeli. Ojong remits with people and recalled that her brother had discovered Angeli's name on the back of a record and as such took it upon himself to send Angeli a recording of Ojong's song. Angeli must have been hooked, but he asked Ojong to come sing for him live. Why I was singing, he started crying. That, that's to tell you that her voice is so... For a woman to sing and everybody will start crying or at least something in you will tell you this song, she's so blessed. Just as uh, uh, what they call her, this uh, great gospel singer, Osinachi. You know when she sings, people will start crying. That's to tell you how God work. God work in his own infinite means, as in everybody has his own gifts. This woman called uh, Selling Audio, she has this voice that shake everywhere when she is singing. The husband was crying when she sang a song for him. Audio told people of the her first encounter. I knew when I had done a good job. So yes, I don't met a future husband at 12. <laughs> you can see how tender she is. She was so small then. And he was 38 at that time. You can imagine. So who was Angeli? Let's talk about Angeli. As a note by the Washington Post, Angeli was a pop singer himself in Canada before turning his attention to management. 
And in all the years of being in the industry, he shared that he don't never heard a voice like Odion. Can you imagine? <laughs> At that time, I had been in a business for 20 years. We are talking about uh, the late Odion husband. Angeli recalled to AP News. In those 20 years, I have never heard someone like this little girl I had in front of me. <laughs> you guys can see. <laughs> really, Angeli was taken aback by just how show stopped Sally Odion voice was. And he was so dedicated to making her a world net superstar that he took a very bold and risky move. As notes, Angeli Mothedge his house in 1981 in order to pay for John Ford album, clearly indicating just how much he believed in a stardom. It was, and of course, throughout their time, working together that that thing turned romantic between Odio and Angeli. <laughs> Guys, don't go away. <laughs> how they came in contact. And when Odio was 19, the pair went on their first date. Can you imagine? It was 1887 then, that is 1987, when this happened. And Ojo was absolutely taken with her manager. The superstar later admitted that she and Angeli had been dating for about a year before they went public. We can only imagine that both their age gap and their professional relationship stopped them from admitting their feelings to the world. Of their early relationship, Ojon told CBS News and Angeli, okay, what happened between both of them? Only man that kissed, how she kissed him and all that. <laughs> and that was not just a partner, but that's the real one. The one man that I love, she shared. These two were clearly meant to be. You know, there are some persons you get to come in contact with you 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 find it difficult that how how did you meet this person what god has said this boat will be together there's no one that can separate them i think they are meant for each other yes both of them Odo and uh, his late husband it's just that death uh, stole him away from Odio. During the couple early years together, Rene Angeli suffered his first health setback. That was how the health condition started during this year. First uh, relationship and all that. When they start uh, dating each other. So guys, <laughs> I will leave you. Yeah, I will leave you guys for now. Please don't forget to share this amazing video. Thank you and God bless.